It's Tuesday, June 4th. Today on Coffee and Cream with Colin, you want to buy some... Another thing that really stood out to me as we traveled around Ethiopia, everyone is an entrepreneur. No matter where we were, someone had something to sell. Thankfully, they weren't always in your face about it, but they all seemed to have something they were trying to sell someone. Driving through some of the smaller towns and villages, there were children who would race up to vehicles as they slowed down or stopped and try to sell them sticks that were apparently used as toothbrushes or sugarcane sticks to chew on or some sort of seeds that you could snack on. Along the roadways, there were bundles of firewood stacked that people would gather and then sell to others. There were beautiful baskets that I saw lots of women making in all shapes and sizes for sale in front of houses along the road or in some more touristy spots they would approach you to sell their wares. It seemed that whatever resources people can find at their disposal, they are trying to use them to earn some money. I even saw a young boy sitting in the hot sun breaking rocks by hand. Lots of things I saw for sale I wasn't sure what they were for, but judging by the effort and diligence that was put into these tasks, they certainly weren't just killing time. A quick Google search and I discovered that 20% of Ethiopians are unemployed. This would certainly seem like pretty good motivation for all these entrepreneurial types, but I think it's more than just the unemployment rate. A little more digging revealed that the average monthly income in Ethiopia is 8,970 burr or about $421 Canadian. A quick look at housing costs shows that even in multiple income homes, there isn't a lot of room to get ahead. As a visitor to Ethiopia, I found the price of things to be very reasonable. Hotel expenses were considerably cheaper than here in Canada, as was the price of meals. Even fuel was considerably cheaper than it is here in BC. However, trying to pay these prices on an average Ethiopian income and those things become luxuries to be dreamed about. I don't know if there's a simple reason for this entrepreneurial spirit that I witnessed in the Ethiopian people, but if I were to give a simple answer, I suspect it would be something to do with basic survival.